What's up guys, Reboot here. Let's talk about this overheating issue going on with the iPhone 15 Pro, which is affecting a lot of users. So what is causing the iPhone 15 Pro models to overheat, you might be asking? Apple stated that there are three things that are causing the 15 Pro lineup to overheat, which I will talk about later on in the video. But pretty much since the launch day of the iPhone 15, users started to report issues about the phone getting really hot under different circumstances and even with regular use or just simply charging the phone. Personally, I didn't have this issue right away and I thought it was just people talking down the new iPhone, which is nothing new. But then about a week later, more people started to report having these overheating issues and then I also started to experience my phone getting really hot on a few occasions. So basically one day I used the camera for about 20-30 minutes straight taking pictures of different items and things and I didn't notice until I gripped the back of my phone that it was actually really hot and this was with the fine woven case on so I could only imagine how hot the phone was underneath the case. After that occurred, that's when I noticed that using the camera extensively was causing my 15 Pro Max to rapidly heat up. Even with about 5-10 through 10 minutes of just having the camera application open, my phone would start to get really hot. The only other time that I did notice my 15 Pro Max getting hotter than normal was when charging the phone, but this only happened to me once, so that really wasn't a big issue for me. Apparently this became a bigger issue than I thought it would, and within about a week, Apple did release iOS 17.0.3 as of yesterday or October 4th. 2023. This actually almost reminds me of the time that the iPhone 14 Pros were having that weird vibration issue with the camera. But aside from that, Apple did listen and as I mentioned earlier, they released iOS 17.0.3 addressing and most likely fixing the overheating issue going on with the iPhone 15 Pro models. In the description, it does say that this software update fixes an issue where the phone might be running warmer than expected. So I guess overheating and warmer than expected are the same thing now. So earlier in this video, I did mention that there are three things that are causing this overheating issue. But before I go over those, if you're still watching, make sure to drop a like for the algorithm and consider subscribing. All right, so pretty much the first issue that Apple stated was causing some overheating was a software bug, which is honestly kind of nice to know that it isn't anything hardware related because man, these phones are not cheap. I'm hoping that iOS 17.0.3 does fix this overheating issue. I've actually had it installed for a few hours now and everything is good so far, but let's see how it holds up within the next few days. The other two causes for overheating, or should I say apps that are causing the iPhone 15 Pro to get really hot are actually Instagram and Uber. I was honestly surprised that these two apps were causing these overheating issues, especially since I don't have Uber installed on my device and I'm not a heavy Instagram user most of the time. So it did surprise me that these apps could cause the phone to overheat even when they're not being used. If you do have these these apps installed and you don't use them too frequently and your device is getting hot, my guess is that even after you close these applications, they're probably doing some heavy background activity for a few more minutes after you close them or maybe even a few more hours. Who knows? One more thing I did want to mention is that going back to the iOS 17.0.3 software update, I have read a few comments online about people being concerned that the A17 Pro chip might be throttled after the update. So I did decide to run two Geekbench tests, one on iOS 17.0.2 and the other one after I had updated my device to iOS 17.0.3. So here are the two screenshots, the left being the 17.0.2 and the right 17.0.3. Everything does seem to be running about the same. It doesn't seem like there is any type of throttling going on. So that's good news right there. So if you guys are having any of these overheating issues, make sure to update to the latest iOS version available as it will most likely fix the problem. I did check the app store and Instagram has also rolled out an update so make sure to update the Instagram app as well. As for Uber, I don't have the application installed so I won't be able to tell you guys if there is an update or not but if there is, just make sure to update so that these overheating issues can go away. Let me know in the comments if any of you experienced any overheating issues or your phone getting hotter than normal and if so, what apps were you using if any at all. Like always, make sure to drop a like if you found this video helpful and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more tech related content. Thanks for watching.